Hello everyone, today we'll be discussing on the JavaScript file structure of Metronic 8. So first, we need to purchase and download Metronic. To do that, we can just navigate to keenteams.com slash Metronic, which is our official website, and just click on this Buy Now button to open up the Team Forest page where you can purchase Metronic. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm also going to link this Team Forest page directly in the description below. So just click on that to come to this page directly. Now, if you already have Metronic 8 latest, if you already have purchased Metronic 8 or any version of Metronic, you can just go ahead and download the latest version for free. If not, you can just purchase it from here. Now, once you've done that, it should look something like this. So let's go ahead and, and unzip it and then go into our file. And then we have five main folders here. The design folder is where we keep all of our designs for Metronic 8. And then we have four versions of Metronic. In this video, we're talking about the JavaScript portion or JavaScript structure for the HTML version. So let's go ahead into HTML, go to Teams, and we're just going to select Demo 1 for this video. And go into our disk and open up our index into our browser. And then let's, uh, first thing we do is go into our documentation. And then once it's in here, we can actually go to you can actually start browsing our documentation like we have a whole bunch of stuff here where you can see like any documentation for buttons or a rating type star or even certain forms like clipboards date pickers validations even our data tables all listed here however in this video we'll be talking about our javascript structure so let's go into our customization and goes to javascript and then this page will basically give you a brief outline on what or how everything works or where everything is within uh, Metronic 8. So as you mentioned in the overview, Metronic is basically most of Metronic's components or exclusive components as in components custom made by us for Metronic uh, and only Metronic are written in pure vanilla, vanilla JavaScript without any jQuery. However, there are some jQuery that's included within Metronic 8 due to certain plugins are only compatible with jQuery and not vanilla JavaScript. So our components are listed within our within our source folder and then within a the JS and then components. And this is where we keep all of our JavaScript and our layout is within this folder here, which is source JS layout. Layouts will be basically like our side menus or our header or our footer or subheader and so on. And then once you've built or once you've done working with any JS within Metronic, you can now when you start building it either with Gulp or with Webpack, it will then be deployed within this path by default. If you haven't seen our previous videos on how you can customize uh, the Webpack or Gulp builds, I highly suggest that you guys watch that so that you can actually update this path to something else or rather update this path to point to your project folders location so this again this is similar where javascript code for custom pages will be deployed into this uh, folder and plugins will be deployed into this plugins bundle okay so now let's get into the main source of metronic let's go into demo one go to source and go to js so as we mentioned we have components custom layout and then we have plugins so in plugins we just have all of our plugins right here it's just a simple, this is all custom plugins that probably not included within NPM or Yarn. Or basically it's not within any package manager library. So these are all plugins that are included manually through downloading a JS file from the website and then just put it into this uh, folder right here. And then we have, if we look into our components, we have all of the plugins or not plugins, all the JavaScripts for components that requires certain function, uh, JavaScript functionality or JavaScript logic. For example, if you look at maybe our password meter. So our password meter is, let's look at our demo again. Let's open this. And then let's look for our password meter. Let's go to user, maybe view user. Can we see the password meter here? And click on this to edit. There we go. This is a password meter. So you can put this and some whatever the current password is. And then you can put like say, let's show this. So I'm just putting some random letters here. And then it just calculates how strong the password is. So if I start putting 
like special number special characters it increases in um, strength i put numbers increase in more strength and i put capital letters it add, even adds more strength to it so this is a, a functionality that we've built uh, into metronic 8 and the functionality can be just located within this js file itself so we have the password meter here and then we have a construct uh, constructor and then we have our main initialization script we also have our handlers our events and so on so this is basically the the core or not the core this is like the the main script or the name the main function for the password meter however if you want to use the password meter it's used somewhat differently for example if you go back to our documentation and if you go to let's see password meters right here you can see how we can initialize it from here and then we have our base examples and then we even have a base of uh, basically code samples for you so to initialize it you can actually just put in you need to put in this attribute here to basically say that oh look this is a password meter however so this is just the functionality to construct it and you even have like event handlers and hooks where you can actually add stuff to it or customize it even further so this is our plugin api so we are basically can check it check the password that was being inputted and then even you can get the score for it or you can reset it or even destroy it and then if for example if you add the attribute for example if you add this attribute into a html element somewhere and let's say you want to control it so to do something else you can actually just uh, get the instance using this this method right here all right so that is that is password mirror however what we're talking about here is actually all of our components are actually listed or placed or organized in everything is all within the js and components folder so we have like uh, all these uh, components that you can use and in custom we have um, certain things so let's close minimize components so you don't see so many things so in custom we have our main widgets so these are all the widgets that we use so this is like 36 widget 3 this is widget 4 and so on we have like a whole bunch of widgets here that you can use how you can actually identify what these are so you just have to look at um, these names here so for example let's look at our widget pages go to any widgets let's go to statistics so this is if we inspect it look at what this is so this widget is so we can't really see it here statistics widget tree so let's look at our code it should be this one right here so it's grabbing statistics widget tree charts so if you look at this that is the class right here so this is how we initialize that stat or that stat widget and then we have our other pages or other custom pages here we have our account pages to manage our like api keys and stuff like that so what are account pages so if you look into here account pages are all this then in our apps we have our calendar um chat and customers and whatnot you know what, let's just close this all right so in here we have apps with our apps yep, right here so we have customers we have subs, uh, subscriptions, um, invoice, and so on. So these are subscriptions and then invoices. So everything is just laid out very easily right here. Then we have authentication. We have our layout builder, models, and pages. So the thing that you have to take note mostly is actually the, um, the account apps, authentication, and models, and pages. So in pages, we have like our careers, companies and so on so what are pages so if you scroll down here yep pages so we have our profile projects widgets such as so on so these are all the js that's relevant to one of those pages you don't need to worry about the layout builder or the documentation because uh, in your project you probably most likely will not need any one of this okay so that's our custom and then next we have our layouts so in our layouts we have our main app 
which is just to initialize certain things like our tooltips or what else do you have our popovers and so on and then we have our aside this is to handle our side menu a side menu is basically this thing here so you can click like you have this functionality like that or you can just keep it open like that we have a certain explore uh, we have search and two bars and our and now two bars basically so this is for our layout our layout is to define our layout is actually fairly simple we have the the main menu here our header here and if you scroll down our footer so that is our main layout so if you go to another demo let's just go to another demo to demonstrate let's go to maybe demo 2 of this and index open it here so in here we do not have an aside that's fine however we have a header we have a header right here and then we have a footer and then the explorer is just this thing right here this is like a drawer that we we have you don't have to use this exactly but you can manipulate this to um, change the content to something else that your project requires all right so what else do we have here i think that's pretty much it for our js we talked about plugins already yep we did and yeah so i think that's it for this video i hope you find this video informative if you did give us a like and uh, subscribe to our youtube channel um, and turn on the notification bell so the next time we release a video you get an update please also follow us on our social medias links will be in this in the description below and i'll see you guys in the next video take care